So now what I want to do, I just want to go ahead and create a form, just a small, simple form uh, beneath this list. Uh, and uh, through this form, we can, or the user can add uh, a text and hit enter. He will go ahead and uh, uh, create uh, the uh, a new a new to do a new to do inside inside this list. Uh, it will be added to this list. So to do that, let's go into our app, the main uh, entry app. Basically, we can create, we need to create a separate component like a form uh, and it will be added like beneath uh, beneath here, beneath the uh, to-dos. Uh, we can add a wrapper, but I'm not, I'm not adding something uh, very fancy just to uh, explain the main idea behind all these uh, all these logic and all these uh, implementation just to display or explain the basic uh, methods the ba the basic use cases you will have in uh, any react uh, application so the form is also a good a good thing to try uh, when you are uh, learning learning uh, react so uh, what I want to do here, uh, let me create a new component and a new file. Let's call this um, to do form dot tsx. Let's create this real quick. So import React from React, export, export, let's just create const to do form equals arrow function, export default to do form. Okay. So uh, inside the form, we need to have like let's let's return this and create the basic structure right here. We need to have like a um, a form, and inside the form, well, we need just a single single input element. So basically, it will be like like this, right? So the input element, uh, it can, it can, it will take like uh, multiple properties. So it takes a value um, or a property of type. So this is basically a type of text, and also it takes um, a value. So basically, the value will be something. Uh, we, it's always changed. So the input will, will always be changed. Um, in order to handle that, uh, we, we need to create uh, a state to handle the value of this input, of this form. So uh, we can just create a value, set value. And this should take use since we already imported React, let's import Re React or import the use state hook from React. So basically, this is like an empty text, uh, empty string. So this value should be the uh, value set into this input. So the input value will be uh, set inside this value state. And we, we, we can simply like change this into uh, something more conventional um, input, input value or anything you want. It doesn't make any, um, it, it, it will not affect uh, uh, the overall process. So set input, just make it something more conventional into your into your application and your use case. 
So um, the value, this value will be always changing. So uh, what we want to do, we need to bind the changed value into the uh, state, into, into the input value uh, of, the, of our application. To do that, we can uh, use the on change event handler that will, uh, inside here, we can create an event handler when uh, the input changed, this will be triggered. In our case, we just basically to uh, set the target of this input. So this input uh, has a target and, and the target value should be uh, set into this uh, input value, which is the uh, value we are we are handling inside inside the state of the application. I hope that that makes sense for you. So uh, to to get the value from the target, basically we have event object inside it. We have target, and inside the target, you can get the value of this target, which is uh, the the value we need. But what we want from this value, we need to set this value into this input value. So what we can do, we just can set, call this set uh, input value. And put this, uh, put this inside it. And this should take an event, like uh, pass it as a parameter. So uh, with this, we can make sure that this input value is taking uh, any changed value from the uh, input form. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so by this, um, also we can we can apply a class name, um, like to do the same one we applied on the uh, to do item. Um, so let's change, oh, sorry, let's save. And for this, for this form, it, it needs a handler for a submit. So uh, when the event of submit being triggered, we need to call uh, a, a method to handle this submit inside our application. So we can call this on submit like an event handler to handle the submit method or the submit process. Um, we will create a method to handle this. I will call this handle on submit, like so. This will should be uh, passed. It can be passed from here. So basically what I want here, I just forgot to create the types or the type of this uh, component. So let's create this real quick, it's a functional component. And also uh, if we are passing um, um, props into, into this component, we need also to declare the types of, this, of, this, of these props. Uh, in our case, we will just only have this handle submit prop. So let's pass it through uh, this component. And also, let's create uh, this interface props, and this will have handle on submits. It will take the value. So basically. Uh, as a parameter, it will take a value. Uh, will be a type of string, which is the input, and also it will return a void, void type. So it's basically it's not returning any value, but it's changing, uh, changing the state of the application. But basically, it's not returning any value. So basically, it's a void. So uh what we can do here we need uh expect one argument but got zero uh let's see yeah we need to pass the value of this uh 
of this on submit and the basically the input value is the value we need uh, we need to pass into this into this uh, into this method so let's go ahead here and call call the uh, and import this um, to do form okay and down here beneath here we can call this to do form and this also should take uh, a parameter of these on submit method so here what we need to do we need to handle the logic of this on submit on submit I, let me make sure about the name handle on submit yeah so it will take a value of string and this value should be the input value so what we need to do we need to add this value um, as a title of a new to do and this new to do item will be added into the uh, already existed to do's uh, array so what we what we can do here <coughs> we can call this sit set to do's set to do's and we can have the already existed to do's and beside it we just need to add the new to do item so the new item we can add um, of course it, it should be like an object so the object will be uh the new to do, the new to do will be like a to do uh, title first so the title of this new added to do it should be the value being passed th from the input right so the uh, value being passed from the uh, typed from the uh, from the user from the form this should be passed through this uh, element this uh, this method and then it will be passed like a new um, to do title and then also we need to have the uh, id of this of this to do and it should be like we can take the length of this these to do's so or this to do's uh, array and add one plus one onto into it so we, what we can do we can call this to do's dot length and add a new item or just increment it but this way it will take like uh, the next id uh, from this from this array and also we need to add completed uh, property and by default it should be false and it will make more sense yeah to add it like a false it's not completed so i just add, added this uh, to do it will not be completed by default so if i save but first first we need to pass this into the to do form so handle on submit i'll add or add this uh that this method this method method will be uh, passed from the props of this component and uh will be called here uh, after the submit of uh of the form so if we check it out here if we let me let me try it so if i um check um my tasks hit enter okay where it is yeah we forgot to do something here uh on the submit we need to prevent the default i think this is the uh yeah we need to prevent the default uh behavior 
of this input. So basically we need to take the events object and that should be passed from here. Basically just take this before calling this we can um, have the event object and we need to call this prevent default method to prevent the uh, default behavior of the uh, input element and then we can call this uh, on submit handle on submit method so let's add this side here and then we can call this handle on submit and we need to pass the value which is the input value okay we save there's something here yeah let me save and let's go to application again uh check the list all right so it's already been added and also what we can do we need to like um, remove or reset the value of the input as well so let's go here inside inside here we can go and then set the input value into an empty string save get back okay um check list added uh, go shopping enter added can set this into complete incomplete deleted everything is fine go with my my friends as you can see everything everything works works perfect and delete all fine okay so that's it for this uh, video and also for this uh, learning series i hope that you have enjoyed it and find it helpful in your journey learning react uh, and also i would really appreciate it if you uh, if you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also maybe leave some suggestions and some comments for uh for some new content so uh yeah that's it for this video and this series thanks for watching and maybe i'll see you next